to uh, Chairman Ryan, Ryan Egg and uh, Steve Cunningham at the Sure Start Centre here in uh, Com. Fantastic morning, guys. I'll start with you first of all, Ryan. An excellent idea and an excellent initiative. Yeah, it's, um, it's something that we said early doors when we, when we came here this summer that we wanted, uh, wanted to bring the community back into Com Football Club. Um, and it's, it's, it's taken a lot of hard work, is this? To, and surprisingly, to find out that it's on his doorstep. Yeah. Um, but we've, we've gone round the houses. Um, to find a, a cause that, that fit in with, with, with where we want to be as a football club and, and everything we're trying to do. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's great to, to do it, especially this time of year. So when did the plans come together? Because it's, it's not an easy thing to try and it's, it's not. put and, together. Um, I say uh, we probably started, well, it took six weeks to get on with uh, the manager here, uh, and it, which is surprising because uh, we've, we've gone around every, everybody and the dog really trying to find the right person to talk to and been sent back to Blackburn. Yeah. Um, and our idea were it, we had to be in Com, you know, with the Com Football Club, Utility Renewals, we're local, we wanted to come right back to, to where, where, where we are. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, it took a lot of hard work, and it's not just me, you know, there's, there's other people who've been involved. Um, and like I say, we've, we've been around the houses, we've got, we've got lists, you know, we've, we've got donations, we've got everything together, but it's all just come together in the last couple of years, and yeah. I'm glad that we managed to do what we have done. Yeah, and a fantastic thing, Steve. It's something that you uh, are big on at Com Football Club. Is you say that community will uh, can carry the club forward. Yeah, it's massive for us. Um, I think when I first took the job three years ago, I said the the, the priority was to turn it into a, a family football club. I think we've done that very much um, on the ground and, and through the youth section, and you see the, the supporters that are coming through to get younger and younger, which is great. Um, but you know, myself, like Ryan, we've got families, we've got kids. Um, and at the time of the year like this, um, we're lucky. Um, so when you're able to get involved with initiatives like this, this is, I mean, I'm a big softie, as you yeah. know, so stuff like this really does get to me. Um, so to be able to just give somebody just the same um, things that we're going to have on the 25th is absolutely mm. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, as a football club to come together the way they have, uh, as well as obviously the company, uh, Utility Renewals. Um, it has been hard work, but absolutely well worth it. Um, yeah. As we said, really frustrating that we've been there three years and this has been on our doorstep and we didn't really know too much about that. So yeah. hopefully going forward, um, initiatives like this can be you know, really promoted. We can help out even more where we can and I'm sure there's other yeah. people can benefit. And maybe when yeah. people see this, people also look to maybe get involved and help yeah. uh, this cause. Yeah, well that was going to be my next question really, is that this is just the start of things to come into as far as forging forward with uh, community projects and, and getting into the community. That's the plan really, you know, it's not just a, a one-off really, we've, we've got to be continuous with this, um, you know, it's not just for, for Christmas as they say, we've, we've got to go through the year yeah. um, and, and do everything we can to get the community involved, get people involved with the football, football club, but more, of, more importantly it's, it's to put something back into the community. We yeah. said early doors as a, as a company, <clears throat> we wanted something that we could put something back into. Uh, and we've, we've found the perfect spot to be fair, and it's on his doorstep. Yeah, certainly. And just moving on to tomorrow now, Steve, because Christmas, busy time of the year, it is good you know, for getting together with family and friends, but for you as a football manager, uh, four games coming up now. Yeah, well, I think that's one of the expectations when you do move up a league uh, from North West Counties to the Evo Stick League. It's, uh, it's the commitment of, of a professional football campaign. Um, you know, you're playing leading up to Christmas Day, uh, we've got a game Saturday, you've got a game Boxing Day, we've got a game sandwich between Boxing Day and New Year's Day and then we're off to Ghoul on the 1st of January, which I think the League have stitched us because yeah. every team have got a local derby and we're off to the other side of Hull. So. Yeah. But no, it's a busy, busy period. This is where, again, we spoke about this, didn't we? You know, the expectations of players, can they look after themselves, take pride, but at the same time, we're not a professional club and we don't pay them enough to not enjoy Christmas with their families because everyone mm. works hard to, yeah. to enjoy that time. But yeah, so it's a busy period. It's one where we've got to look to try and uh, pick up some uh, valuable points and kick on a little bit. We've got obviously the new players that have come in this week. We've yeah. got um, some exciting stuff happening off the ground. And I think once we get to the 1st of January, um, we play Google away. That'll be the 21st game of the season. And then we've got half a campaign left. Uh, that'll be a fresh start for us. Mm. So we're going to then um, see if we can be one of the top sides for 21 games and see where it takes us. A lot of hard work in the next four weeks. Uh, to get to that point, but coming over Christmas, yeah, it's uh, it's a good time because it gets yeah. a lot of people out. We can promote the club. We've got two big games at home, especially Boxing Day. If we can uh, really get that message out that we need your support, um, you know, come and see what we're trying to do. We've got a, a great, young, exciting, vibrant team at the moment, 
Um, I don't think they really sample what a cold football crowd is actually all about just yeah. yet. Um, and I'm sure once we kick on and put some points on the board, we can get them people back through the gates and hopefully just finish the league really strong uh, and see where it takes us. Well, thanks for joining us on Corn FC TV here in the centre of Corn. I'm chatting to uh, Lee Pugh and uh, Wackass down here at the Shear Start Centre here in Cone. Uh, a bit different to what you used to uh, on a daily basis, Lee. Yeah, it's uh, it's good that we can get involved with things like this. Uh, Cone's a family club and it's great that we can help out in the community, especially at this time of the year where there's a lot less fortunate families and we can help them out in some sort of way. Yeah. What will you be doing this Christmas? I know that you're, uh, you're sidelined, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be having a quiet Christmas, unfortunately, but um, yeah, I've got one more game. Uh, I'm going to spend some time with the family and get back cracking for yeah. Boxing Day. For... And I believe the gaffer tells me you're going to be joining me tomorrow afternoon well, doing yeah, a, a bit of a cameo role. I'll, I'll bring me mops and court and uh, I'll be up in that gantry, yeah. yeah. What do you think it means to a, co a community when uh, the local football club gets involved with uh, community projects? Uh, I think they'll appreciate it a lot more. Like you see a lot of young lads from from the town wearing corn shirts, and it just shows that a lot of young kids can get involved in football clubs, and hopefully they can progress up the ladder and play professionally or semi-pro. Yeah, certainly. And Wycast back at the club. Good to be back. Yeah, pleasure to be back. Um, obviously, I had a loan uh, early this season. And just had to come back and play, play football, and Quinny yeah. was a massive part of me coming back. And yeah. just for me now, I just get to play football and to end the season at least and then see yeah. what from there. Because I was reading from the article on uh, Chorley's uh, web page, you know, you got a lot of plaudits at Chorley, you know, you got on really well with, with yeah, Matt course, Janssen yeah, as well. Yeah, well, along with the manager, uh, the whole club was really good to me at the time. Uh, the fans were tweeting me after I'd left and they were disappointed, obviously, uh, with Chorley letting me go, but um, they can't understand, obviously, I wasn't playing yeah. as much as I'd like and for me now at this age, I just need to play as much football as possible, so... Um, I'm just glad to be back and yeah. hopefully like give my best to Cohen and obviously see it. hopefully like maybe yeah. I stay next season and go for promotion next season. And tomorrow, if selected by the gaffer, then uh, hit the ground running, yeah? Yeah, definitely. That's the obviously my first game back and I want to kick on and do well for the club and get my own. Cheers, lads. Thanks for joining us on Cohen FC TV.